I got bit by a black widow. Long time no see. It's been almost, it's been a week since y'all have seen me and that never happens. It never happens. So much has went down. I'm going to fill you guys in on everything. But for right now, we're going to try out this bed head TG blowout free. That is a mouthful. Their promotion people could have come up with a better name for that. This ain't sponsored by the way. Shane had to get me this because Banks and Tater um, chewed up my brand new one I got at the Ross, by the way. I used it one daggone time. They chewed it up. So Shane surprised me with a new one and a prettier one at that. So let's get ready because we, we got, honestly, we got so much to go over today. We got a lot to do today. So let's get ready and then we'll get to it. blowout I mean I've got thinner hair my hair is not thin it's thick but it's very fine it did a pretty good job it did a pretty good job of blow blowing it out it took a matter of 10 minutes like that's how fast it was so compared to this one it was way more higher power like you could even hear the power in it versus this one this one's way more higher power I have a feeling if you have the right hair texture this sucker will give you that Dolly Parton hair as high as heaven kind of vibe <laughs> <laughs> but for someone with just normal hair, fine hair like me, it does a really good job at making it soft and drying it really fast. It has four options. It has off, it has cool, it has low, and it has high. Low and high are the hot options and cool is the cold option. This one, let's just compare it to this one. This one has four settings but it has off level one level two and level three so this one has a cool setting which is really cool it also differs with it has little bristles in there like little bristle black bristles this one does too <laughs> that one does too you just can't tell but this one has the it has the plastic bristles and the little black what is that black Ow, that's hot guys. It has the the little black, you know, it looks like nose hair. Those things right there. As far as hair, it doesn't look like it pulled out a whole lot of hair. 
and that says a lot because my hair is pretty damaged one of you guys did send me some hair treatment and it has made my hair feel so phenomenal like i'm so appreciative of that stuff it's really changed the game when it comes to my hair and everything that it's been through within the last like how long i mean a few months so that is a lot of the credit as to why mine is so soft but this does make sure that it's brushed out and like you can run your fingers through it that like it's super brushed out so even with my damaged hair it didn't pull out a lot it says it gives it volume and i would have to agree i mean i would oh yeah we'd have to agree <laughs> we would have to agree um i my hair is layered now because i did lose so much hair whenever i was in my my yolo era i guess you could say that was my yolo era because we ain't there no more and we're cautious when it comes to our hair <laughs> We're very cautious when it comes to our hair now. <laughs> Lesson learned. I had to have it layered because I had a lot of damage and a lot of loss. It did give me some volume. I like that a lot. It did give me some volume. I like that thing. That booger is a, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It has fearfully created stamp of approval at 9 out of 10. Granted, the only thing I have to compare it to is this, um, this one from the Ross. Which it was good too. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. I think I spent 25 on that one. And I don't know how much Shane spent on that one, but I can find out. This one was from Amazon. I'll link it down below too if you want to check it out. This one was 36. So that's a significant price change. But they do have the pink like I have. The pink and purple one. And then they have this really gnarly. I love this one. They have this really pretty purple and lime green one. But it's 50 for some reason. I don't know about that. I think I'd just go with the pink and purple one, honestly. They are both really cute, though. Now that we got that done, I'm not going to take off my glasses and put in contacts or anything. i got to run to the grocery store. I'm going to take all my kiddos with me because I need all the help I can get. Um, so I'm going to just real quick put on a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel presentable. This is the first day in about two weeks that I've been able to wear a bra. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. I'll explain later. I'll explain. But this is the first day I've been able to, you know, fit some puppies in. So... <laughs> While we're at it, we're just going to put a little bit of makeup on too. Alright, little get ready and chat with me. What has been going on? Where have I been? I got bit by a black widow. It was in my daggone bra. <laughs> I would show you guys, but it would be a little bit, you know, inappropriate. It was in my daggone bra, and I got bit by it. And I didn't realize it was going to be a problem until I went to get in the shower. And I noticed that this is going to be TMI graphic a little bit too. Y'all know I can't tell a story without being a little TMI. That's a normal story, and this is a this is just a TMI story in general. So if that's not your thing, I get it. I understand completely. Just fast forward a little bit, and I'll probably be talking about something else here shortly. I was getting ready to go into the shower, and I noticed I had a huge blood blister. And when I say huge, I mean like the size of a penny blood blister. Your mind automatically is like, oh snap, get my house in order. <laughs> like I'm about to meet Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's scary when you see something like that. I mean, we're not expecting it. I show Shane, he's concerned, but I'm like, first of all, I don't want to pay for a hospital stay. Secondly, if I can just take care of this myself, you know, I just thought I could put a little WD-40, not WD-40. Nia's born. <laughs> I thought I was going to put a little bit of this porn on him and just go on. That's what I, that's what I genuinely thought, y'all. Uh, no, you can't put WD-40 or, or this porn on a Black Widow bot. So, later that night after I see it, I put a band-aid on it and try not to touch it. Because I know if I pop it, like, it's going to make a mess. I don't know to the extent, but I know it's going to make a mess. I put a band-aid on it. Kind of forget about it, if I'm being honest with you. I sit down to watch Titanic because we all know what happened, what was going on with the submarine. I was heavily invested in that situation. I was hyper-focused as, as my little ADHD heart could be. I was hyper-focused on that thing. I became a submarine and submersible professional genius myself. Like, I I, I, I got the credits. I got the degree. If you want to know what I'm looking for, I'm just trying to find some poor control. I'm trying to find some... Um, now I know I have, I know I have some, what is that stuff called? Kind of like cement for your pores. Primer. I know I have some primer in here. So anyway, I sit down and I'm watching Titanic because I'm hyper focused on this whole situation. And 
Halfway through the movie, because that was a long butt movie. Halfway through the movie, I start feeling rough. Like, I have a high tolerance for pain and sickness. I pretty much can just right through sickness, unless it's teeth related, because we all know like teeth related pain, oh, oh, it takes me out. But regular pain, sickness, nausea, all that stuff, I can usually work through it. I was feeling like I legitimately got hit by a bus. And I, my mind kind of went to the blood blister, but I was like, mm. it's just a spider bite. I underestimated the bite of a black widow, if I'm being honest with you. My mind went there, but it didn't really go there. And by the time the movie was over, I was out. I had a huge fever, it had spiked, I had restless legs, my whole body was aching, and it was starting to feel like it was on fire from the inside out. That my primer. <laughs> I'm using this shine killer stuff. I usually don't use this, but I can't find my other good primer, so we're just using this. So I go to bed and I'm in the bed. Like, I'm doing everything from the bed. I'm dealing with some stuff with Nanny right now, which I'm not gonna speak on. Oh, I need to shave first. I need to shave my mustache. I'm not gonna speak on the stuff with Nanny right now because honestly, I'm scared to. I don't, I, I'm scared to even say, I'm scared, I'm scared to talk about that right now. I'm just not ready. And I'm not trying to keep you guys in the dark intentionally. And I mentioned that over on Instagram. That's not my intentions at all. I just don't know how to talk about it yet. And we don't know a lot of information. Me and Annie know very little information right now. It's kind of just the, the basic information. And I want to know more before I say anything. So I was in bed dealing with all that stuff. Nanny was needing some things. And I was doing everything from bed. doing Taking care of the kids from bed. Um, helping Shane with whatever he needed from bed. We're also going through something on the side here that you guys don't know about as well. You guys might find out about it later depending on what comes out of it. But I was dealing with a lot of paperwork, sending documents, all this stuff. I, I was doing everything from bed while I had 102 fever. At that point it was 102. While I had 102 fever and was feeling rough. I'm not a like bed person. Let me get the weed eater out, hold on. I still need to get my sideburns too because I've, I've noticed I've been neglecting them. Honestly, one day I hope female mustaches come in trend. You hear that? <laughs> that means it's getting somewhere. I don't want to get my actual hair though. Am I traveling? I thought I felt travel. I'm not an in bed person. Your girl is obese, but she moves constantly. I move constantly. I'm like the river. I flow. Cause I flow. Jiggy jar jar do 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 do. Carl Papa. That's when I started to know something wasn't right. Something wasn't right at all. And then the blood blister flattened. And within a few hours of it flattening. By the way, whenever I noticed this blood blister, I saw it fill up with blood. Using this Urban Decay All Nighter. Yeah, All Nighter. And I'm using it in as pale as pale can come shade 0 .5, 0 0.5. I can't see nothing right now. I'm gonna also spray down my Beauty Blender with this NYX Mac Finish. This is a finishing spray, but whenever you use it on your Beauty Blender, it kind of mixes in with your foundation and it helps your makeup to stay for longer. Whenever I found the Blood Blister originally, I watched it. I watched it fill up with blood. And I've never had a blood blister, so I don't really know like if that's normal or what. So while I was in the bed, it flattened. So that it was still filled with blood, but it wasn't raised anymore like it was. And within a few hours of it flattening, I got worse. I had my fever spike to the highest was 104. I was aching. I was crying. I did not sleep at all that night. I actually went three days without sleeping. Well, almost three days without sleeping. Out get, without getting like a wink of sleep because I, which I'm, you know, I was, I'm a mom bee anyway. I'm literally a mom bee. I, I run, I can run off nothing, but I can't run off nothing whenever I'm, I'm, I'm sick like that. So I can't see, can y'all tell, I can't, I was gonna say, can y'all tell me if I'm getting it? But I forget that y'all ain't really here right now. That's how stable I am <laughs> mentally. <laughs> it was so bad that I couldn't sleep. So I stayed up that first night and I waited till my doctor without, I don't want to give too much of my medical information away because I'm really uh, about that. I try to keep that stuff kind of, you know, private. I, there's not many parts of my life that are private. I'd like to keep that part private. Um, not because I don't trust you guys, just because I just, you know, just because it just makes me feel better. I wait till my doctor opens 
first thing in the morning. I stay up and wait. I don't have a choice but to stay up because I was going to stay, be up anyway. And I call her and I'm like, can I get an appointment for Friday? <laughs> it was Wednesday at this point. I was like, can I get an appointment for Friday? And she's like, yeah, what's going on? And I was like, well, I got this big old blood blister that popped and I'm running a fever of 104, but like, it's all good. We have to be there anyway on Friday. So can I, can you just fit me in somewhere? And she's like, uh, 104 feet. And I was like, yeah. She's like, you ain't coming Friday. You're coming now. <laughs> I kind of acted like it was a big inconvenience. <laughs> Cause it was, I didn't want to, didn't want to have to get ready and drive over there or anything like that. So I just threw on a shirt, went braless, which I was uncomfortable with at first, but after going braless for so many days as I had to because of this, like I could pretty much go to the DG braless right now and not really care. I went and they did a culture on it and then did some a CBC for white blood cells because obviously something was very wrong by this point I could barely walk in order to make sure the infection from the venom they also knew right away it was spider bite before I even had to say anything they knew right away it was a it was a venomous spider bite because it was tunneling so whenever it flattened and they did their culture they had to team they had to swap swab it like really good and all of my flesh came off onto that swab we were thinking they were gonna have to scrape it she's like uh it just fell off so whenever all my flesh fell off onto that swab they could see where the venom had started tunneling and that's whenever you have a hole in the middle of a wound and it's basically killing the tissue all around the middle of that wound and it's tunneling and it keeps going and going down in the layers of tissue it was tunneling pretty bad and it was where it was tunneling it was black this was only the first of several trips to the doctor. Oh, I went Wednesday Adams on that. I didn't mean to go that. Oh, like that. That's I, didn't mean to go. That's with my I didn't mean to get that wild on it. But anyways, I'm using a CoverGirl eyebrow pencil and the color Honey Brown. Got a little spoolie. So we put me on some extreme antibiotics. You can have antibiotics intravenously and then topically, which is in an ointment, and then orally, which is by mouth. I had some strong antibiotics. So strong that the second day being on them, I start pooping out blood. Oh, that's probably a better way I could have said that. I probably could have said passing blood. I, I start passing blood. And some of my YouTuber friends got the privilege of getting those pictures. Because if you're my friend, that just comes with territory. I even got on Instagram and I was like, hey y'all, can you pray for me? I'm pooping blood. I mean, that's just, I, I can't, I, w I wish I wasn't that way, but I'm that way. And I just, I had to say it, how it comes to my mind. And talking about that stuff doesn't bother me because it's all functions. We all do it. We don't all poop blood, but we all poop. I warned y'all it's going to be TMI. You can't say I didn't warn you. So, uh, when I say... I was doing that. I don't mean a little. I don't mean I barely noticed it. I don't mean it was in the toilet. I mean it was horrible. And it there was coffee grounds, which you know that's always a bad sign. There was coffee grounds in it. It looked like strawberry jelly. Like it there was it was full of clots. So right away I didn't get worried because I don't I don't get worried about when it comes to stuff to do with me. I probably should, but I don't. Um, so I call Shane in and I'm like, Shane, I'm only going to show you this if you don't freak out, okay? And he was like, what? And I was like, promise me you won't freak out. Well, obviously he freaked out because he got to see it up close and in person. And it was very, it looked like a, it looked like a crime scene. So I just nonchalantly text my doctor and send her a picture. And I'm like, hey, should I stop the antibiotics? I'm kind of pooping blood. And she didn't get the picture yet. And she was like, you're kidding, right? Because I'm always joking with them. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not kidding. She was like no that's not normal like we need to get you like nah nah i end up pooping so i end up passing blood for like two and a half days and it started out a lot and then it kind of tapered off which was good so we're thinking it wasn't due so much to the venom of the spider bite passing through my system as it was the overload of antibiotics because i was on so much i was on like the highest milligram that you could possibly be like i was on a lot a lot so by this time though even though the antibiotics were working against my system we don't know why they caused me to blood clot up like that we don't know why it caused me to bleed out like that it, we don't know but it while it was working against me it was working for me too and 
it, the spider bite was getting less infected, which that was the main thing we were worried about because I was on sepsis watch. You know, staff, staff can easily turn into sepsis and we didn't want that happening because it had got infected by this point. That was our main concern, even though me passing blood was obviously not ideal and it wasn't, it wasn't fun and it was dangerous at the amount that I was passing it. It's still nothing compared to your body going into septic shock. I mean, that's, that's never good at all. There's nothing good to that. It's dangerous from start to finish, no matter what. Like, there's no silver lining in going septic. So that was what we were mainly concerned about. So that is why we were glad that even though the antibiotic, they think the antibiotic caused me to do that, that it at least got, it at least had time to get that infection out. I completely stopped passing blood last night. This is Saturday when I'm filming this, by the way. I completely stopped passing blood last night. I tried to keep Instagram as updated as I possibly could, and I tried to update you guys over here on my community post too, but if I'm being honest, I struggled to get even the main things done, and I wanted to give you that much because I feel like I owe it to you guys. You guys are always here for me, and you guys are always praying for me, and I wanted to tell you guys. The first thing I wanted to do whenever I found out, I wanted to tell Nanny, and then I wanted to tell you guys because Shane and the kids already knew. Um, so like you guys are always like on my top list whenever something happens i whether it's scary exciting happy sad i, I want to tell you guys you guys have become that important to me so i i wanted to tell you guys it wasn't that i, I didn't want to tell you guys but i also didn't want to worry you because i know a lot of you guys are like my grandmas and my second moms and and like that's what it feels like and my friends and i didn't want you guys worrying um because you say black widow spider bite and while it is extremely serious and I found out within this experience how serious it actually is, you say that and people almost pass out like right away. You say brown recluse bite and people pass out like almost right away. So I know how serious it is but I also know how people react to news like that and I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't want to cap, I don't know, capitalize off of that I guess you could say. That is the wrong word. I don't know. I didn't want to focus. I just didn't want you guys to be worried. So I did tell you guys what was going on, but I didn't tell you guys to what extent it was going on. Instagram got a little bit more information, but they don't even really know to the extent of what happened because a lot of it was inappropriate. Like I said, I can't, I couldn't show pictures, except if you're Lacey, then you got up close and personal pictures. A lot of my YouTube creator friends got up close and personal pictures, but I couldn't show you guys that because it was in an inappropriate spot and so I couldn't I couldn't show you guys the progress that it was having because it looks worse before it gets better and in the case you ever get spider bite it usually work looks way worse before it gets better that's odd to me but the, it was like the worser it looked the worse it looked the better the better I felt the less it hurt so fast forward it's been a week how many days it's been a, it's been almost a week since it happened and I'm just now today for the first day feeling like I can actually get up and do some things that I need to do feeling like picking up the camera and updating you guys cuz I owe you guys an update and putting on a bra I mean in the least putting on a bra I'm not going crazy with my makeup by the way I was going to do the whole contour and stuff and I just don't feel like it I have all of these brushes and I can't find my eyeshadow brush we're just gonna use this one. Are we gonna use Fenty or are we gonna use Kylie? Or are we gonna use DG or LA Colors? We're just gonna do something simple, right? So I'm not even gonna go crazy with it. We're just gonna use the Kylie right here. So I'm feeling better. I'm still doing the antibiotic. Not the antibiotic that made me bleed, but I, I'm and not and not the IV antibiotic, but the topical antibiotic. I'm still doing that. Let's do just a a light like brown oh that ain't light okay let's just do this then i can walk now because there was a point where I, I couldn't walk i can walk now i can lay on my stomach there was also a point where i couldn't lay on my stomach i can pretty much function with just a little bit of fatigue and just a little bit of like just feeling tired i guess you could say I'm thankful, I will say this, because I feel like it's, we focus, I feel like I've focused a lot on the negatives, it's just that it was, a, it, it was all, it was a negative experience, <laughs> but I feel like, uh, I can't tell it and be 100% positive, because nobody can say, 
yeah, I was, I was bit by a black widow with a smile. I mean, I did, I guess, kind of when I started. <laughs> but I'm not normal. A normal person, nobody is going to say that with a smile. And it's not a positive experience. You can find positives in it, but you can't, you can't call that a positive experience. Things I did learn, though, and I am thankful for, is it did teach me to shake out my clothes when I get them out of the closet, no matter what, no matter how clean the house is, no matter how decluttered it is. So I am thankful for that, and I am thankful it was me and not my kids or Shane or the dogs. And I am thankful that God saw me through it. I mean, I'm here to tell the story. Some people, when they're bit by black widows, it's way worse, and that's not their, that's not their reality. So I am thankful for that, very thankful for that. I'm thankful to be back and feeling good. <laughs> And I'm thankful to be able to wear a bra. Good lord, am I thankful to be able to wear a bra. That was too heavy. <laughs> but in my defense, I couldn't see. Oh, dear lord. Goodness. So that's pretty much a health update. Also, another health update. I've lost 19 more pounds. My doctor and I have been monitoring my weight very closely. I have been losing weight again so that's good and i haven't really been eating carbs i mean i've eaten a little bit of carbs if we go to like sonic i'm not going to be like oh give me a give me a patty it would catch up on it i ain't doing that but i am very careful as to what i order and i'm i'm really focusing not so much on carbs even though i am limiting them but i'm focusing more so on a calorie deficit that's what I'm focusing on and I'm seeing great results. I'm wearing like leggings right now that I cannot fit in a month ago. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys. Like they look, I'm looking snatched. I'm looking snatched, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking snatched. So I'm, I'm really excited about that because I'm just working towards fitting on a Dollywood ride. That's what my reason is. Obviously to be around for my kids and Shane, but my, my reason whenever I think about quitting or giving up, no matter how long it's taken me, because it's taken me a long time. I mean, this is real life weight loss here. There's stalls and there's breaks and there's things that, you know, we don't expect. It's not all rainbows and butterflies. But the thing that keeps me going is knowing that, first of all, I'm taking care of the body God gave me in a better way. It'll hopefully make my chances of being around for my kiddos and Shane for longer better. And your girl wants to just fit on a, on a Dollywood ride. That's what I want to do. I want to fit on a Dollywood ride. That's what I think about whenever I want to give up. I'm like, uh-uh, because next year we might go to Dollywood and I might want to ride one of them rides and I won't fit on it. So, nobody wants to sink the river rampage. That would make headlines. And that is not the kind of headline I want to make. I really did not mean to go that hard on the on the eyeliner. I couldn't see what I was doing. I should have put my contacts in. That's a whole health update. That's a whole health update. I'm about to leave and go to the store. I'm just going to go to a cheap store, grocery store. I'm going to Priceless. I haven't been there in a while. I used to go there whenever my grocery budget was $60 a week. Um, I used to go there and I would go in with my little calculator and count up everything to the dollar and I would be so excited when I could get the gummy worms for the kids or something like that. I want to go there again. I'm thinking about taking Colton for some one-on-one -on -one time and then also for his hands because I need them. Let me get all this stuff back in my makeup bag and I'll show you guys the fit check and then I really need to pick up some things. My grocery budget is also $1,200 this month. Last month it was $1,200 too. But it's $1,200 this month again. And I don't want to go over that. Last month, we didn't go over it. We are actually a few dollars. Like, what, $30, I think? $30 shorter than our budget. So I'm hoping we can do that again this month. All right, let me do a fit check. I got toilet paper on my shoe. Dang, man. These leggings I could not wear a month ago. But I got, I thought I had toilet paper on there, too. I was like, snap. I got leggings I could not wear a month ago. How are they looking? Like, I, I know obviously I got some rollage going on. It doesn't do much for the front butt, but it's comfortable. Oh, and then I got these black and white Crocs. I had to get new Crocs because Binks and Tater. Binks and Tater chewed up my new bright orange ones that I love so much, so I had to get black and white Crocs. But I love them, they're pretty. I got them at the Ross. I've had them for a couple weeks, but I love them. They're like $19, I think. But yeah, Amazon, I think these are from Ross. 
and then my shoes are from Ross. This is a size 3X and I got it whenever I did a shirt order because I'm going to go through and replace a lot of the shirts in my closet that I wear around the house and I want to replace them with nice shirts so I'm not wearing like stained up shirts around the house and stuff and I can just wear like nice shirts and look you know just feel put together not dressed up or anything just t-shirts and stuff I'll show you guys what I got because most of it came in the middle of the day this being one of them actually this came in the middle yesterday the rest of it came in the middle of the day they're just plain shirts like there's nothing really special about them but they are plus size they do look like they'll fit really well I haven't tried them on yet and they're gonna be really nice to wear around the house. I can trade them out with my stained shirts. I'm gonna keep my painting shirts because of all the projects we do, I need those. But I did need new shirts because a lot of my shirts have stains on them and a lot of them have shrunk so they flaunt the front but that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to do so. This one kind of flaunts the front but but like it's not a crop top and that's what most of my other shirts have turned into, a crop top. All right, let's go to Priceless. Right, we are here at Priceless. Oh, I might take my camera in, Colton. What do you think? What if we get kicked out? How about you ask Becca Tron? Yes. Can I take you think so? Yeah. What if we get kicked out, though? Usually, I film on my phone when I go inside. It's not that I'm afraid to film in public, because by this point, I've done this almost three years. It's it's nothing. But but I don't want to get my buggy full, and then they'll kick me out. Cause then I just have to go somewhere else and fill a whole nother buggy. Let's sneak it. Let's do it. Let's let's do this. We'll see if we get kicked out. Colton's already hitting up the mac and cheese, so <laughs> that's great. <laughs> We're going over here to the produce, though. I don't know, buddy. What? I don't know. Ooh, it smells good over here. It smells fruit. Ooh, what? they've changed stuff around. Huh? Wanna grab cantaloupe? <laughs> Mango, try me. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Look at this right here. Fajita mix, vegetables, 620. Ooh. Sliced cucumber. Ooh, that's cool. I feel like they would get bad though after a while. Ooh, Shane loves this ranch. And potatoes, and then I promised Shelly we'd get a watermelon. Ooh, I don't know though. Oh, they're not looking mm. so. They're not looking Let's so slide right by here. What do we need? Their produce is looking pretty good. See, this is $4.93, and I feel like, because I already have onions, I feel like this is cheaper for getting that pre sliced fajita stuff. I would chop off my toe if somebody told me I had to eat that. What is it? I don't know. Mushroom? Oh, yeah, it's mushroom. Ooh! No cheddar. Look, party size at two butter lovers. You don't even have to pop it, it's already popped. How convenient! Shane told me he wanted creamy peanut butter and he said to get the good kind, not the nasty kind. So, I don't know. I guess we'll go with this one. It's more expensive, but. And we're going over here to the cheap bread. Because I'm not about to spend $4 for a loaf of bread. These are my favorite ever. I can't eat them right now because I'm trying to lose weight, but oh, they're so good. They have something called the dead meat aisle and it's dead all right. It'll kill you. <laughs> It'll kill you. It looks appetizing, huh? See? Yum. Yum. Look at this. Originally 407, 273. That's about the best deal I've seen in here. Uh, that's appetizing. Oh my gosh. I have had a workout. We didn't get kicked out. <laughs> we didn't get kicked out. That's awesome. Okay, I have had a workout and a half. Oh, and you're about to walk straight into a car, buddy. That's a truck. Going to that. Um, I think y'all are cricket right now, but uh, bay. <laughs> that was a workout. Now we gotta load all this up, and we got Wait, to just this walk. unload it at the house. Actually, we'll have Daddy unload it at the house. <laughs> We're not even done yet because we had to stop by Food City and Dollar General. Somebody just screamed. That's high in Tennessee. I could have just laid down the seats, but look how piled up. It's just, you know, when it's too easy, I have to make it hard. Whew. I'm sweating. I can feel my cellulite melting. Where's my child? Putting the buggy up. Thank you, buddy. I can't remember how much we spent. Uh, look at my long Two hundred something. 
such a vlog. <laughs> we spent, Deb, it's 200. $274. And I was like, you know, the common denominator with, between, within me spending too much on groceries is always having you in the car. <laughs> that is true. No. Ha almost all of that, I only picked out a few things. Almost all of that is yours. Right, we're not even done. We have to go by Fair City because they didn't have sub rolls. Well, <laughs> they didn't have sub rolls. That's the bad part with coming here. That's the bad part with coming here to Priceless is they don't always have everything that you need. I need buttermilk. I need. That has also had a lot of old stuff in there. Yeah, I need shredded lettuce. I need spicy mustard. Oh, spicy. Mm -hmm. And that's the third time. I think that's it. And then I will not get my toilet paper and stuff there. I'll have to stop at Dollar General on the way home too. You guys see why I do Walmart grocery pickup most of the time? It's because I usually have to hit up like three different stores in order to get everything and that now, I need. Off to Food City. All right, we were checking out, by the way, I spent way too much in there and that's exactly why I don't go to Food City. We were checking out and Colton found these little My Mochi ice creams and he wanted us to taste test them so make sure to taste, taste them too okay, <laughs> it's double chocolate my mochi double chocolate my mochi also it was in chocolate. the little freezer thing wasn't it, it was called a mochi bar they look so cute yeah, that's cool <laughs> they are cute how are you supposed let's see here work it out all right okay right. we'll eat the same oh that's gonna hurt my teeth no it's soft is it What's with the powder? Is that flour? <laughs> mm. powder all over me. I do believe that is flour. <laughs> you like it? Uh-huh. Mm. It's gooey. I don't know who can enjoy that. Right, Mom? Uh-huh. It's giving caviar. Mm -hmm. I'm not that I would ever know what caviar tastes like. I've never tried it, but <clears throat> I'm assuming it tastes more like that. And there's this weird cake flour substance all over it. Cold's digging in, so you must like it. By the way, did I tell you I spent way too much in there? I'm going down the decor aisle in Dollar General. I'm on a buying ban because I'm saving for something really, really important. So your girl's window shopping. And oh, they got some cute stuff. They've got some really cute stuff. Look, oh, ho, 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 that's pretty. I don't do much of the galvanized stuff anymore, but if I did, I would do that. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> Again, I don't do most of the, I don't do the galvanized stuff. Oh, ooh, snap. <laughs> oh, no. I don't do most, <laughs> I don't do most, uh, I don't, you guys already heard what I said by her noms. Um, <laughs> They do got some really pretty stuff though. I love these oh, vases right cute. here. Oh my lanta. I'm obsessed with these. That one is calling to me for some reason. I wonder how much it is. That one's not calling. I heard wrong. They've got interesting, um, <gasps> a top board. Oh my gosh. Look, oh, oh my lanta. I need that, right? Mm -mm. No, I don't. I'm really digging their, their, uh, that's pretty. I'm really digging their, what's it called? I don't know. Am I an influencer? How am I an influencer? Vases. I'm really digging their vases. Wait, oh, and look at the lemon cups. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. For real. <gasps> I don't need cups. I don't need cups. But these are five bucks. It looks like something you find at Dollar Tree, but it's kind of pretty too. It's like it's a Dollar Tree and them had a baby. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. You want to go down the toy aisle right there? I was looking to see if they have anything outdoorsy. Those are cute. 
Oh, is that? What is that? I don't want to pass. So I guess I have anything outdoorsy because I want them to do the porch soon. That's, that's $5. I want them to do the porch soon. They're crazy. I want to do the porch soon. And I just don't. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do it in. I don't know the vibe I want. Last time I was for sure about what I wanted. This time I'm not. So I'm not doing nothing. Not touching nothing until I know for sure about what I want. That's pretty. Fringe. It has fringe. Oh, oh no. Lena. No. I'm on a budget, man. I can't afford to be in here right now. <gasps> if I see tassels, it's over. Like, I love tassels. I love tassels. They got ugly reds, though. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, guys. That matches. That matches. Hold on. I'm getting too excited. That matches the the rug I'm about to show you guys when we get home. My hand's over that. Again, how am I an influencer? I don't know. I don't know. This matches the rug that I'm going to show you guys when I get home. Oh. Oh. It does. It perfect. <laughs> oh, no. Cut one. Can you help? I wonder how much it is. Hurry. Come around here. Oh, crap. I'm going to get in trouble for stepping on stuff. It's okay, Colt. The... Dollar General is known for... Here, I'll hold these and you pull. Okay. Known for being crowded. Okay, Oh, okay. yeah, they lost it. Oh, they're 15. Oh, pull it. Pull it out. Push back in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's kind of flat, ain't it? You know, oh, it's soft. Is it? Let me see. Hold on. Hold it back there. Is that, like, the color it's given? Yeah. Oh, I really like it. But look how flat it is. Oh, yeah, they lost it. Try to fluff it. Beat it up for a minute. Okay, now turn around here. <laughs> oh, that looks pitiful. No, but that that, that excited me because of colors. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Twenty-eight dollars for this blanket ladder. It's two-tone blanket ladder. It's kind of cute. I'm Woo! We're in here. I got Tater a new toy. I'm trying this water for the first time. It's actually pretty good. I usually like smart water. I, I'm, not, I'm not reviewing water. Water is water. I mean, there's lake water, but. What's up, everybody? It's that most wonderful of wonderful times. That moment you wait for. That moment that you just can't wait for all week long. It's the awesomely created grocery haul. Come on! I'm gonna start down here. We got some, you know what? You look, you know what? We gotta start it on this. That way we can just get the flow going. Hashtag Tater Nation. Down here, I don't know what those are. We're gonna go on. You didn't see those. Anyway, uh, we got two loaves of bread. They're a little smushed, a little, a little worn out. I don't know what happened. Uh, Rena and Colton went on this grocery haul today. They went to Priceless Sand Food City, is that right? And Dollar General. And Dollar General. Uh, and they came back with some smooshed bread, so. Wouldn't happen uh, if I delivered it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have a week full of appointments. And when I say appointments, I have three appointments each day this week. Three. Each day this week. So, girlfriend's not going to be cooking homemade, homemade as much. So, this is a grocery haul of convenience. It's junk. It's absolutely junk. But I know it, I'm not going to just get fruit and vegetables to show you guys on camera because if we don't eat them, they rot and I waste money in the fridge. So this is what it looks like this week. I have literally, don't we? We have appointments every day this week. We do. Every day. You get out of my spotlight now? I always have appointments three days out of the week, but not every day and not three appointments every day. So, okay. So. So. so wait, wait, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Stand right there. I'm going to give you a good transition. Right. Start to walk out. Start to walk out. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, we've got some cherry Pepsi. That's an incentive. Oh, is this for Banks? Gotcha. <laughs> incentive. No, it's an incentive. This is an incentive for you, Banks. Oh. Step up, good sir. What? 
It's an incentive. Man, we got a lot of soft drinks that go around. I don't like we, that. Tell them what I'm trying. I'm trying out incentives. We got a big old thing of paper towels here and some TP. And we got a big old thing here. So I'm just going to start here and we're going to work way left. Try to find something green to show them first. Okay, right here we got a green pack <laughs> of ramen. Chili ramen. We got three of them. I'm going to assume that's for Colton because he's the only one I know that wants to eat something with peppers and all that in it. Uh, we got this big old thing of uh, kosher dill sandwich slicers. Why can't we just call these pickles? Because I'm having... Why don't we just call these pickles? Listen, though? Why these again. slicers? They're slicers. Show me again. No, oh my goodness. I... Alright, wait, wait, wait. Guys... We have we have a problem. Listen, Invasion. Meal plan is everywhere, but I, I do have a loose meal plan I'm gonna follow. But the kids and Shane are eating fried chicken tonight, and I can't have that, so I'm gonna make me a sub on whole wheat bread. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. Anyway, oh, we got some chocolate syrup here. Ooh. Marina got some Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. Is this for date night? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dang it. I know that sure. Will you take me on a date if I'm Yeah. Uh, take we've got some dry day. instantly top coat. Yeah. And then we got some, uh, what do we call these things? What do we call these things? Nail filers. Nail filers. Nail filers. Um, we got some more soda here. Uh, Rena said that this is for like incentive program. I don't know what that means, but I guess we'll find out. We've got some shredded lettuce here. Here's those whole wheat. Are these those whole wheat ones that you? Yeah, yeah. The sub rolls that she was just talking about. And we also got tortillas, which I'm excited for because I'm seeing stuff in here that's showing me we we're gonna have Taco Tuesday. Yeah, we're having Taco Tuesday. Yes. I gotta hurry. I gotta use the bathroom. Um, we got this big old thing of strawberry. This mix of strawberries and pineapples. But look, some of the pineapples have turned red. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We got a thing of pepper because we were running low on that stuff. Uh, Rini got her one of these little YoPlay yogurt parfaits. You know, I can still remember having to make these at McDonald's when I worked at McDonald's as a teenager. We got some uh, fried chicken here, which I'm excited about. It smells pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. And then look here, we got some... I I'm confused about these. Are these just um, normal, like, size bags, or are these smaller bags? They're supposed to be normal size bags. But I have questions. Small. I have major they questions. They went down inside. They really have. While well, well, I have this here, we've got some Lay's Wavy Original Chips, along with these two packs of cheddar corn puffs, which kiddos love all that. We've got some pepper jack cheese here along with some turkey. Oh, this is like the good stuff. You got the good stuff. This is gourmet. It even says gourmet. Gourmet light. It was $4 worth what, of gourmet. What is gourmet light? You didn't get gourmet pro? I got gourmet light because I'm trying to get light. You, you didn't get the gourmet pro though? You got to upgrade to the pro. $9.99 bundle. You know how most of them apps, they have like a light version and then a pro version. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of. Uh, we got this big old thing of sliced pepperoni, which that looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie there. Um, we also got some of the uh, Mr. Clean multi-surface cleaner. Then we've got some perfectly moist. You, I hate that word, don't you? Perfectly moist orange supreme. Never seen that before. Figured the kids flavored like cake it. mix. Oh, that yeah, that does look pretty good. So it's gonna be kind of like what flavor? Just orange? Crush, kind of. Crush. Yeah. Okay, I'm down for that. If you can get that fizzy flavor in there, you're gonna be the bomb.com. Anyway, we've got some uh, spaghetti right here. We've got some vanilla frosting, along with our ever so lovable prego meat sauce. Right here, we've got some cosmic brownies, the golden cakes from heaven, two of them. We got a bunch of breakfast items because I don't have time to. Look. What the heck? I don't have time to bulk fix any of them, so we got pre-made. Man, I'm, I'm down for those. Some things are good. So we got French toast sticks right there. Right here, we've got some iced coffee. It's Reese's. Mm -hmm. I might actually try some of that. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even a big coffee drinker. We've got some body armor super drink. That's for Nan. Oh, okay. More water for her. And then we've got some uh, creamer, which is Hershey's flavor. That's cool. 
kiddos got their corn dogs. They love their corn dogs, along with a big old gallon of milk. And then what is this? We've got a half gallon of whole buttermilk. Right here, we've got some self rising flour. I'm gonna try my hand at homemade biscuits. Okay, I'm down. We've got some honey roasted turkey breast, smoked ham, more smoked ham, and more honey roasted turkey breast. Then right here, we've got some Pillsbury cookie dough chocolate chip cookies. Right here, we've got seasoned potatoes, potato puffs. <laughs> That's the kids. Um, then we got some Kraft mac and cheese. Now this I'm interesting in, interested in, in, in this whole thing that you got, I'm interested yeah. in this. You say to yourself, oh, it's, just, it's barbecue sauce. Wrong. It is Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. What the heck? I'm excited to try this. Um, Colton said he he picked out um, mini Eggo waffles to be thrifty, I believe he said was his words. Yeah. He tried to be thrifty. Okay. Um, I think it's because the kid's going to get something hard. free in his Minecraft game. <laughs> Uh, then the girlies look like they've got some unicorn what pancakes? Yeah, pancakes. pancakes. We've got some Kobe Jack cheese, a three pack of peppers, big old cantaloupe. That's about one of the biggest cantaloupes we've got in a while. Um, good and creamy. Good and creamy peanut butter. Thank you, Lord. Um, I don't know if anybody else does this, but a big old spoonful of. of Peanut butter is, I mean, it hits. Did you just say the elderly? <laughs> That's what your mom does. She'll grab a bell through this. Okay, the in the comments, and you better leave this in here. In the comments, I want people just saying, hey, I eat a spoonful of peanut butter from time to time. Just let me know. We're not alone. We'll, we'll start a, a group, an organization. We've got some Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. Jolie, what is this? You can do better than that. What is that? Cheese head! I just didn't know. Cheese head! It was the other brand. Nope, this is it. See? Cheese head. 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 Cheese head along with some cream cheese spread and some cottage cheese. We got two things of butter along with two things of bagels. We got a pack of cocoa puffs here or a box of cocoa puffs. Got this big old thing of bacon. Look at this. Are we having cocoa puffs in? Uh-huh. I don't know Colton stuck the cocoa puffs in. Oh, was he not supposed to get that? No. Nah. Well, we got is this for uh clubs? clubs? Yes. We got a big old thing of sweet tea. Uh, we got some taco sauce here, along with some steak seasoning, a thing of Mountain Dews, a thing of Ritz crackers, and oh wait, He's not just a thing. Too. The Ritz crackers? Yeah. yeah, he was telling me I picked this. Yeah, this big size. old party That's size. Great. It's some taco seasoning, which I'm happy about because that means we're having Taco Tuesday, which I just made. I looked for you, uh, your pizzas, but they only had hamburgers. So there you have it. Did you just drop something? There's the grocery haul. I'm glad you guys could join me. I hope you had the time of your life. We'll do this again next time, and I'm going to turn it over to my beautiful wife. Bye. I'm eating this parfait because I haven't eaten anything today. It's up in the afternoon. But I didn't really know what I wanted for dinner. So I'm skipping out on dinner because I'm not hungry. And I'm just going to do some parfait. This parfait. Um, I stopped by the P.O. box. And y'all are wild. <laughs> y'all are wild. We talked about me. Like how I would thank you guys. Because there's so much that comes in. Not like not just like gifts and stuff. But like there's so many cards. So many cards that come in and I can't get to everybody I can't get back to everybody even I mean even in a timely manner not even just in a timely manner but in a matter at all <laughs> thousands of cards like thousands so I was talking to you guys about what we could do and a bunch of you guys gave me a lot of good ideas I just don't want them to feel like 
a half butt thank you you know what I mean because if I put names up here you see your name you see the person's name and you hear me say thank you but you don't really understand how thankful I am versus if I were to like send you a card so I'm struggling with that right now I just don't ever want you guys to think that like I'm taking advantage of you or it's not a big deal to me it's a huge deal to me and I would die before I took advantage of y'all like I would spontaneously combust so we're gonna try the names up on the screen at the end of the video not every video but quite a few videos um I'll, I'll put the names and I'll do a big thank you and I'll put the names at the end of the people who who have sent me letters and sent me cards and that'll help me get through reading them faster anyway because I don't read them until I can write back because I I want it fresh in my mind, you know what I mean? If I feel like it's not an adequate enough thank you for you guys, then I'm probably going to shut down the P.O. box. Not because I don't love hearing from you guys. I, I love hearing from you guys. Your letters. Right. I, I've, I've come to know so much about you guys through your letters. I mean, pages and pages, like 20 page letters letters typed out letters handwritten i learned so much about you and i've seen your family i've seen what they look like you told me about your hobbies you told me about your sicknesses you told me about your past you told me your hopes about your future i i, I take that with me everywhere i go like in my pocket and i keep it there and I, I think on it all the time so it is a huge deal to me i never want anybody to think it's small Hurry, come on. Stitch. He's blowing me kisses. <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. So we'll try that. If it seems to be a problem with you guys, please talk to me about it. I don't want it to be a problem with you guys as much as I don't want it to be a problem with me. Um, we'll try it and see how it, how it works out. And if we think that that's an adequate way to, to thank someone. Oh, is that my packages? It's my packages. They're addressed to me. I'm missing two pieces of clothes that I want to show you guys. A navy top that's sort of like this, but not Under Armour. And plus size of data pants. Yeah, you heard me. I went down an Amazon rabbit hole of Adidas and Under Armour plus size stuff. You good? There's quite a bit on there. And it's stuff that you can't find in stores. Because if they have plus size in stores, it's gone. Like farting a wind before you can get to it. I'm going to do your try on haul. I got two pairs of Capri's, like comfy capris got two pairs of those from walmart and then i got a few shirts from amazon i also got a couple pair of pants but they're not here yet when they get here i'll show you they're like jean capris let's do the shirts first first up what we think what we think let me let me do better with this background first i thought would be really Nah, let me see if it let's, it doesn't cover the front butt though. That's what really matters. Oh, it does. Does it accentuate it a little bit? I mean, as much as any other shirt. How about the butt? But it's it's long. It's long. So that's perfect because that's exactly what I was looking for. It feels sort of like a pool floaty. It's like this mint color. And it has this peach and corally color on here. It feels like a... It feels a little bit pull floaty. What is that? I don't know. Swimsuit. It's given swimsuit. It's this this material is given swimsuit. But it's not it's not too clingy, but it is a little clingy. For just going to the store and stuff, I'ma keep it. I'ma keep it. Now these run small. These run really small. Usually in shirts I'm a 22 to 24. I got this in size 26 and it fits perfect. It's not too snug and it's not too loose. So I got a size 26 in it. So that's just telling you guys it does run a little bit small. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Just know it gives swimming suit when it comes to the feel. But as far as the looks now, I mean it's it's good for a Walmart run. I like it. That's exactly what I was looking for. I was tired of wearing short front butt showing shirts and stained shirts to Walmart so this will do good. I like that. I like it. I like it. Okay. Next one. Alright this one is a turquoise color. 
It's basically like the last one, but it does not feel the same. This one feels more of like a shirt you would get at Walmart and not a bathing suit type of material. So I cut it from the same shirt. You know how like Amazon will give like the product and then it'll give different options of that product. That's how I got it. But it is not the same product. It does not feel the same. This one does cover the front butt as well. But I got a 26 in this so it fits good. I have plenty of room. I have plenty of room to to maneuver so it's given flea market I'm digging it it's comfy I'm digging it I'm mad about these can I do my soundtrack go ahead just do it Only for them to get here and feel like. Good about vacuums? No, it feels like um, one of them mesh bags that you turtle cheese in or squeeze cheese in, make butter in, something like that. What? Um, it, it's they're uncomfortable. They were supposed to be sweatpants material, and instead they are uh, air balloon material. I don't know. I got a gray pair and a black pair and I waited a month for these suckers I was so excited for them to get here only for them to oh, bad. shame shame I mean it's giving them on vacation with the retirement home all you need I mean they just need the last Long enough to make it to the fires of Mount Doom. Oh, I hate them. These came with film, and they're not even the same. These I can handle. They do got pockets. They got a drawstring. They come right at that B part of the B belly, so. I usually like to wear high waisted. Oh, you can make them high waisted because I got them a little bit too big. These are size 4X. I could have went with a 3X because I got them a little bit too big. I can pull them up though, so that's good. But it's not even the same kind of material as the gray ones. And they came together. The gray ones, I'm going to use it as a dish rag. These pants came from Walmart. They took a month to get here and they were out for delivery for two weeks. <laughs> In my area, out for delivery for two weeks. So, will I be ordering that again? Uh uh. I'm not even going to link these suckers because you got to go round trip around the world to get these to you. I'm going to keep these black ones on because I'm becoming a fan. I'm going to put my Under Armour shirt back on so I don't get this one dirty. And Where then, did you order those? Uh, Walmart. You guys remember that new rug I was telling you about in Dollar General? I know it looks like I get a rug every other month, and it's true, I do. I did buy this rug before I went on the buying band, though. The buying band is a necessity for a really important thing I'm saving up for, so this was bought before the buying band. But in my defense, I go through them so much. And it's not even a fact of they get dirty and I don't feel like washing them. Y'all see me wash my rugs all the time. <laughs> I wash my rugs. It's They wear down. And I, I get my rugs at Ross, so you could say that's why. I won't say that because I will never say nothing negative about Ross. Uh, but if you wanted to say that, you could. They do wear down, and it gets to the point where I am missing rug, pieces of rug on the mat. So it looks like, looks like it has the mange. It literally looks like it has the mange. I've had it about, what, four months? Okay. I can't, I think. I think I've had it about four, five, six months, something like that. Um, so it's time for a new one, and I decided to go the more expensive route to see if the more expensive ones from Ross are worth it. That one, the mange one, it was like sixty dollars, fifty nine ninety nine, something like that. And my new one, while it's much larger and it's much fluffier and it's much prettier, there's my neighbor. Um, it was 120 so if I waste $120 on this thing, 
because I, I only started I saved like a booger to get this rug because I only started saving for this rug last month because I knew that I was wanting a rug really bad so I've only been saving for this rug for about a month I so I stopped saving for everything else and just focused on that because I was I was really wanting a new rug in here especially after getting that new rug in the dining room and seeing it pop I love that nothing makes me happier than a new rug nothing well Jesus does in my family but cosmetically nothing makes me happier than a rug let's get the new one down and see what it looks like Shane said no. <laughs> Let's get the new one down and see what it looks like. No. Shane. It's so pretty. It's got like an accent killer in it. Oh, I'm so excited to get down to it. I feel like I'm wearing a jumpsuit because this is the same material as these new capris. So like, it's like that slick feeling. Okay, so the reason I'm so excited about this rug that I'm about to show you is because it has my neutral colors but it also has pops of color. It has this mustardy brown in it and this navy. I, this is out of my comfort zone, but when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is gorgeous. Like, this is gorgeous. And the way that it's, it's pattern is, it'll be easy to hide stains, if God forbid, but we all know, we all know it's going to get stained. <laughs> I'm really excited to see it laid out and I'm really excited to see what that mustard brown and that navy looks like played out together. I like it. Ask me how I feel about it next week, but I like it. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh no. I should say, oh, you no. told me not to ask you till next week. I don't know how I feel about it. It's different and it's pretty. It feels out of place. So you have one or two options. What? The first is to just get a new rug. I can't do that. The I've already used my is, rug envelope. The second is to get the core that matches it. Uh uh. Some bronze. Uh uh. And blue. Uh uh. And puke green. It's sage green. Okay. Um. Like our uh, homemade headboard. It looked better rolled up. If you want my honest opinion. <laughs> I did. It looked better on them. I don't know. I know you. Get ready for about a week and a half of hyper focusing on it. Okay, I can't justify getting rid of it. Hey, you got email. Come here, bring it here. All right, be right back. Hold on, I got an important email. Shane told me I had a booger in my nose that whole time. So, thanks for that. Hi. It, it happens to the best of us. Alright, sorry about that. Only, it's because I have like a who nose like from the Grinch. So, you can see into my brain through my nose. Because it's just how it is. Y'all are always seeing boogers. But, I try to apologize whenever I know that a booger's hanging out. Look at his butt. Is he really? No, literally. Look, he smells big to his butt. Ew, that's gross. Believe it or not, I loved this color when I saw it in Ross. But now that it's on my floor in my living room, it's giving baby poop yeller and I don't like it. I will say when I put the ottoman on there, it did brighten it up a little bit though. All right, I got to go because I've got an important email that I'm going to be working on for probably three or four hours tonight. Thank y'all for praying for me. Please continue to pray for Nanny. Let me know what you think about this rug. I know what y'all are going to think about this rug. I know, I know. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning or not. Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you. But Jesus loves you more. See y'all later.